Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha. This is Carol Mon Lee on Education Matters at Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, today, we're going to interview our intern, Parker Wagnall. Hello. And Hi. <laughs> Thank you. And our show today is called Summer Internship at Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, we had a show yesterday also on our summer internship program where we interviewed our other intern, uh, Kendra Austin, who's here, who was here uh, from University of Hawaii, West Oahu. But Parker is a student at Mid-Pacific. Welcome, Parker. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, I think it's a really good opportunity for the internship, so thanks again for that. Thank you. Well, I need to tell our audience that this is actually Parker's second summer here with Think Tech, and uh, he interviewed last summer when he was a going into eighth grade at Mid Pacific. This year, going to be going into freshman year, right? Congratulations! Right. Yeah. So I think we actually have a picture from last summer, and I want to show the audience that picture, that group picture that we have. So there's Parker. So I'd like everybody to see how Parker has changed in one year. And Parker's with Jay Fidel, our founder, and with uh, Nick Sexton. With Cindy, our staff, our floor manager. There's Rob in the back with the headphones, who was control room engineer at the time, and Ian Davidson, who is also our, um, with us. And of course, me and my dog, Minky. So that was Parker last summer. And uh, so we're so glad to have you back, Parker. So tell us, what did you do last summer as an intern? Well, last summer I did uh, basically a lot of stuff, um, mainly with camera work. And I also got a hand in doing the teleprompter setup. Uh, probably my favorite was the control room. I got a little bit of taste of that, and it was a very fun learning experience for me. And now I can use that uh, in my later like career moving forward if I choose to pursue um, video type stuff. Okay, specifically, what in the control room interests you? Because we have a TriCaster, we have editing equipment, we have sound equipment. Oh, all of it interested all of it. me, but uh, my favorite had to be. Um, getting to control all the cameras because it was very complicated at first because the buttons didn't have labels. But then <laughs> you have to guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then um, once I got the hang of it, uh, it was pretty fun to do and um, very. Yeah, as I said, it was very fun. Okay, and, so now I know you have a, a long time interest and background in your own production, right? So tell us a little bit about what you use, what you have at home, what kind of equipment you have at home, and what you've been doing over the past few years. Well, what I have at home is I bought a green screen with the money I saved up by mowing my neighbor's lawn and also helping with uh, my lawn to earn some money. I also... Um, so you have a green screen in your bedroom? I, yeah, uh, it's a portable one, so it's kind of like a... Um, uh, it's a bunch of sticks you put together, kind of like a tent, where it's like metal tripods and all that, and it will make a um, green screen frame. And then it comes with a screen. I also bought two LED box lights, too. Mm -hmm. So now I make um, some running productions on that, um, giving running tips while using some of the skills I picked up here on how to edit. So running meaning because you're a runner, right? Is that... Yeah, I, I you love do track. Running. Yeah, track. Yeah, and all that. So you go out onto the track and film yourself or film other people, and then you bring it back and edit it. Yeah, basically that's what I do. I give uh, me and my friend Nick, who's been in the Junior Olympics, uh, we make some like running tips videos, kind of like that. And we have a lot of videos unreleased, but we're just waiting for me to have the time to edit it and. I want to make something that I edit with and I'm happy about it before I upload it to the public. Wow, how long have you been doing that, Parker? Um, honestly, I recently started it like four months ago. Like, it's not that long ago. I only have like around two videos uploaded right now because I'm still uploading this giant project that I'm going to release like in August. And what's so, that project about? Um, it's about, it's a, um, 10 minute long video on different running techniques and how to breathe while running. And it also shows like how to make running fun so it's not just torturous to people because I know people want to have fun while doing it and not like die. So. <laughs> so it's geared towards students like your age or anybody? I would say that would be my demographic 
mostly is towards high schoolers to middle schoolers. I just want to um, make videos to inform the public on like different running styles while also making it entertaining through video production. And so where can the public watch the two that you've actually already released? Well, they can watch it on my YouTube channel, ILH Runner TV. ILH Runner TV. Yeah, it's um, in League Hawaii, which is what ILH stands for, Hawaii TV, on YouTube. And I, I post a lot of stuff, even some of my races and some things I eat on season, because that's a big thing. Is some nutrition. things you eat on season. Yeah, on season, which is the season that I'm on uh, running. I'll make a short like video showing like different healthy meals you can make with stuff and it'll still make it like taste good. Uh -huh. So those are some of the things that I work with when I'm in editing and filming with my camera. Wow. So now um, after last summer you interned with us and you went back to school. Is there a course or a program at Mid Pack at Mid Pacific that you take that enhances your learning about media production? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I, I took this class called uh, Digital Media and Creative Media, which is basically uh, making a broadcast to the actual school about like lunch menus and different sports of the day and all that. And it's very fun. Uh, it's nothing like what we have here, it's like crazy. But it's like which one's crazy here oh, or oh, there? here? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're crazy because we do thirty-five shows a week. Yeah, and and you have like all high-tech stuff at at Midpad. It's still it's like eh, but like <laughs> it, it teaches you the basics and how to edit and basically how to do all kinds of production. And it's a good stepping stone to get if you want to pursue that. Um, aspiration. Right. So is that a class or a clinic or is it a club? Oh, it's a class. You can also take the club, which is called Puel Productions, which is the actual club that makes it. I, I, I do both. <laughs> but um, yeah, they both help with a lot of different stuff, primarily focused on video and yeah. stuff like that. Well, last summer, while you were at ThinkTech, you got to have get both behind the camera uh, experience, right? As you said, working in the control room behind the cameras and setting up and talking with uh, hosts and guests, but you also actually got to interview and sit here where I'm sitting, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, let's show our, our second image, which is a picture of, can you describe it to our viewers? Well, this is um, a picture of me interviewing the Chief Justice Rechtenwald, and primarily we were talking different about his views for the future. Um, I was a little bit nervous, but I, it was a good learning experience, experience. Mm -hmm. and um, now I'm way better. I've been practicing in front of the camera, and my channel has help, been helping me with that. Good. So, like, what are some of the things, the do's and don'ts you would tell somebody who's, for the first time, going to host? What would you say you learned that you could pass on? Well, something that Think Tech has taught me and Jay has been focusing is don't be nervous or try not to be <laughs> nervous. Because if you're not nervous and you're more laid back, it's just like having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with, like, without the cameras. And he makes it sound super easy because he's really good at it. Everybody's good at it. But if you're just starting out, it's very hard to ignore the fact that there's like three different cameras and like hundreds of lights. <laughs> <laughs> and viewers out there. Oh, yeah, and viewers watching you that, that you know is like, if you put in this room, it'd be like hundreds, but. <laughs> well, yeah, or even more. And not only that, this is, since it's live stream, we don't edit shows so that if there is mm. something that maybe you wish were not said or something, we, we can't, we don't edit out. Yeah. So you learn to <laughs> be live and spontaneous and go with the flow. Yeah. yeah, it helps. It helps. It. You look back at it and say, oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then at the next time, you can improve it in the next interview. So what would you say you prefer? Do you prefer in front of the cameras or behind the cameras? We know what you like uh, in the control room, but did you, did you like that experience being in front of the cameras? Oh, uh, yeah. I, would have, I, I like both of them, first of all. Um, they both help me. Uh -huh. And on it, honestly, uh, being in front of the cameras has really taught me, even in my social life, if I, it helps you make new friends because you're not afraid of going up to them because being in the experience of actual cameras, it's like having an audience there. So when you go up to people, you can, you're not afraid to like say, oh, hi, my name is, and then make new friends like that. 
Yeah. And then being behind the cameras just teaches you a lot more about different styles of video and more you could do with that. It's kind of like an art form. Almost. Yes. It, it's really a, a good skill to have and to learn. So how about your interest in news items? Has, has that changed because of ThinkTech? Because you remember last year we have, as, as our audience knows, we have about 30 to 35 shows a week on 35 different topics, and we have so many uh, different areas of, of uh, conversation. So I was wondering, is, has that become some area of interest for you? Yeah, it, it primarily has, and that's actually what caused me to go into uh, Pueo Productions. I didn't know that they had that until I came to Theta, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, and I could put on a production that's not as much budgeted, but like it will still get our message out there that we're trying to get to the viewers, which not that many people will see it online, but we show it at um, our auditorium, and people will see it there. So I can see live reactions, whether they liked it or disliked it. And it's like a thing we do like once every week. So you have a school um, get together or something, and, and it's shown on a weekly basis? Yeah, oh, it's oh, a school oh, get Entire together. school? Uh, yeah. I see. From even, even high schoolers get to see it, but yeah. um, they have a, the meetup at a different time. I see. And how long is the show that runs? Uh, we try to make it short because um, if it's too long, people will tune out. So we try to make it around five minutes mm -hmm. at least at the longest mm -hmm. and trim it down because um, what we're doing is not like getting, trying to educate people, but more like just trying to get the message out there just so that they know about it. Right. And what yeah. are some of the topics you've covered over the past year? Well, we covered everything from um, the daily schedule to sports announcements. Um, what kind of clubs there are. So if people are interested in a club, they can watch a daily bulletin and then say, oh, that's where our club is. It's in A10 something. And then they can find their club that way. Yeah. OK, great. So tell us a little bit about your track interests and how that has been supplemented with your interest in broadcast media. I know you said that you use the topic of track to yeah. actually film. So have you been in track for a long time? Yeah, uh, I've actually been on it for like five years, including my Renegade track, which what's, I've quit for a while. What's Renegade track? Oh, it's a um, club track team. So uh, I've been on it officially on the Midpack team for two years. And I really enjoy the sport. Um, I recently at Champs placed third and fourth in the 1500 and 3000. Wow. Now, what is Champs? Champs, Champs championships is a okay. championship meet. So you have to qualify for that by getting top three in the qualifiers. Is that by school uh, or by private schools or is that uh, Well, basically, it's in, in the trials, there's um, four heats. Each heat has about 15 runners. They take the top three of those heats and then the next four best times. And then they go on to the championships. I see. But do you uh, enter by school or by individually? You, you Your coach enters you. Your coach enters you. I see. Yeah. That's great. And then I know you're doing some summer work. What are you doing this summer on track? Oh, this summer uh, I'm going out for cross country because my coach is skipping me from junior varsity and boosting me up to varsity next year. Wow. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. So I'm just looking to get some training in and not overtrain. So I think next week I'm going to take it a little bit more lenient and focus more on um, the internship and um, making some more videos and editing for my channel so I can get content. But um, my coach really has been adamant on the fact to not let me overtrain because that's one of the biggest mistakes people make. Okay, well, great. Well, if you just joined me, this is Carol Mon Lee on Education Matters, and we're talking about summer internship at Think Tech Hawaii with my guest Parker Wagner, who is going to be a freshman at Mid Pacific, and this is his second summer at our internship program. So we'll be right back after this short message. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea comes on every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join us. I like to bring in guests that talk about all types of things that come across the sea to Hawaii. Not just law, love, 
people, ideas, history. Please join us for Law Across the Sea. Aloha. Good afternoon. My name is Howard Wig. I am the proud host of Code Green, a program on Think Tech Hawaii. We show at 3 o'clock in the afternoon every other Monday. My guests are specialists both from here and the mainland on energy efficiency, which means you do more for less electricity and you're generally safer and more comfortable while you're keeping dollars in your pocket. Welcome back. This is Carol Mon Lee on Education Matters with my special guest, Parker Wagnall, who is going to be a freshman at Mid-Pacific, and he is taking his second semester, second summer here as an intern at Think Tech, and we're very happy to have you back, Parker. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> so we spent the first uh, segment of this show talking about your last summer's experience, including what areas of interest you were uh, specifically wanted to learn about and do, and what you actually did, uh, and also about your track work, which is kind of oh, wow. dovetailed into video. your video. Yeah, so let's talk about this summer. What are you thinking? This is your first week, your third day of your first week, right? Yeah. And so tell us what are you hoping to learn this summer at Think Tech? Well, what I want to learn a lot more about is um, how to talk to people when coming in, because that um, is a skill that I can take even outside of Think Tech. So like how to introduce them and what to do in this scenario, so what camera to look at and how to uh, converse with people. Right. You know, what's really helpful is when you recognize them, you can call them by their, their name. Yeah. Right. Make them feel welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not sometimes they're nervous. Right. So what would you say to them to to a guest who might be nervous about appearing? Uh, I would just tell them uh, I've interviewed before. It's very nerve wracking at first. But uh, try to pretend the cameras aren't here and then picture yourself at a place that you would like want to be interviewed at or where you'd feel comfortable. Right, and I always tell people that time goes by really very fast. Yeah. Yeah. When you're nervous. When you're <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, so are there any particular technical areas that you want to go into or that you want to learn about? Um, We're talking about some of this stuff here. Motion graphics editing? Oh, yeah, motion graphics editing. Ooh, that. Um, what is that? Uh, what it is, in my opinion, motion graphics is um, the little subtext. Mainly sports channels use it. You see it all the time in, like, I think football and even in track and swimming. They have those who's competing things. And um, actually, the digital media um, teacher was actually the motion graphics editor for um, OC16. No kidding. Okay. Yeah, Kevin Takuda. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. And so you're interested in learning that? Yeah, I'm pretty interested in knowing that because I could play around with it all the time because uh, I have this idea for my uh, channel. Once I learn this and get good at it, which may take a while, but I'm willing to put in the work and effort in mm -hmm. order to learn this skill. But mm -hmm. I'm, I want to make like the timer bar, you know, at the top, and we could do a lot of fun things with that. and like have races and have the timing bar and all right, that. Right, right. I think that would look cool. Right, okay. So, and let's see, some of the other things that you as an intern would be responsible for are, you know, we take telephone calls mm. in. Do you know how that works? Um, not mainly. <laughs> I need, that's also another thing I need to learn a lot about because um, I'm not really sure if it goes into the thing out there and all, how all of that works. <laughs> right, so uh, we do have a call-in number, which is 374 if anybody <laughs> wants to call in, uh, and we can take calls online. Have you used, you know, we used to do Skype. Oh, yeah. But now we use something else called Zoom. Are you familiar with Zoom? Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be something you can learn about. Yeah. Okay, do you do that, a lot of Skype? Uh, yeah, I, I have um, some of my friends on uh, Lopez Island, uh, Washington. Uh -huh. uh, they uh, they sometimes um, FaceTime with me. It's not Skype, but um, FaceTime is primarily the same thing. Is it? It's, yeah, uh, okay. it's face on face so that right. you can see them, and there's a little box icon where you right. can see yourself. Right. 
and talk and converse. Yeah. Right. And let's see, what else are we going to be doing? We're going to be, oh, tell us about, like, uh, our, do you know anything about FileMaker? Uh, final maker? File maker. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, so you'll be learning about that. That's our upgraded um, software program where we uh, re uh, work with our, our database system <laughs> with uh, work with our hosts and guests and our staff and everybody's interconnected. And so in terms of scheduling and um, setting up shows and doing all sorts of things, it's a real important new addition to think tech that you should be learning about okay mm -hmm. yeah you'll enjoy that a lot uh, how about uh, we had already talked a little bit about editing but is there anything more about editing that you think you can be experiencing here uh, actually I, I think there's a lot I need to learn and I'm lucky to have some of really good editors like Rob and uh, Jay You're right and they they help me like uh, learning stuff that I could use and even from last time, I've seen a drastic improvement on the content I produce and the content I'm able to even edit for my school. Because of the skills you learned here last yep. summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even I impressed some of the people because even some people from um, my school has uh, YouTube channels up and yeah. sometimes they ask me for help to edit. So then I'll take their videos in and edit for them when I have the time. Right. That's great, and that's based on some of the things you learned here. Yep, exactly. How about the equipment? Do you use your own equipment to edit? Yeah, I have a DSLR camera. Not nothing like these, but it's it's a very smaller one mm -hmm. that I hook up to mm -hmm. the to um, a tripod in my room, mm -hmm. where I basically introduce myself and all that in front of the green screen. I can right. put my and then I basically can just hold on to it. It's not like something I have to load onto my back. It's just. You know, I can film what I want to, and it's very convenient. Do you use your telephone to film at all? Um, yeah, actually, I do sometimes because if I want to have two angles, I'll have one camera at like a starting line, and another camera like I'll have a friend hold it. So if me and my friends are doing like a fun mile race, another friend would <laughs> hold it up. So we we could switch in between angles, kind of like what we're doing here, like With switching multiple cameras. Yeah, and I really like that aspect of where you can get two different point of views. Right, and what kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 6S. It's, yeah, it's pretty broken, but it still works. <laughs> the screen, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of cracked. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, we had talked about some of the other projects for the summer, and one is to, every day you're here, you're gonna be behind the cameras, right? Learning mm -hmm. whether it's the floor manager or the control room or working with, in our reception room. But we also talked about your opportunity to sit in my seat again, right, to interview. So who should we reveal our potential special guest? I, I think we should. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think uh, so our, the potential guest is actually my mom, who's a pediatrician on the, um, the base by Kaneohe. I think it's the MCBH. Right. So she's a colonel. She has the rank of a colonel right now, so I think I'm going to practice my interviewing skills I've learned here and get one-on-one uh, -on -one questions. Great. And what's your mom's name? Uh, Dr. Debbie Wagnall. Right, Dr. Debbie Wagnall. I think that's a great idea to interview your mom because what I find is interviewing for me is not a natural particularly interest or skill that I have, but I enjoy talking with people whom I know. Mm -hmm. It becomes much more of a conversation, so I think that's great if you interview your mom. Yeah. What do you think you'd ask her about? Uh, <laughs> I think I would ask, like, oh, what, like, ideas do you have for me in the future, and, like, what do you want me to pursue? Just so I can get an understanding if she, it, like, approves of the ideas I have, which I have no doubt she wouldn't, but I mean, would, yeah, but like just so that she knows and what interests would she have for my future because I know there's a lot of um, things she has for me in the future and I just want to see if some of the stuff I'm interested fit some of that criteria. Oh, that's very good. So what do you think long term you see yourself doing? You're well, going to finish Mid-Pacific. Yeah. And then what? Oh, there's a lot of opportunities. and. I try you to like look track at as a future. potential long term. Yeah, well, I, I, well, I always want to like you know be an Olympic runner. That's like my aspiration. An Olympic runner. Yeah. 
Wow. But I know that won't happen. Like, I don't want to be negative, but like, there's a lot of stiff competition in track. So what I'm hoping for is I want to pursue my video career when I get out of college. Also run um, NCAA track. At, but then when I um, am like 28, I want to drop out of NCAA. Why track. 28? Um, because that's the age I feel where you're like aging and you're done like getting better and better. Okay. So I think I'm gonna <laughs> drop out of <laughs> drop out of track and pursue like video stuff. Okay. And also um, try my hand in qualifying the Olympics for the marathon. So at age 28. Yeah. Oh. I see. So now what about school uh, after Mid-Pacific? Where would you like to study that might be able to combine both your track interests and your interests in media? Well, I've been thinking a lot about that, <laughs> to be honest, even at this age. I want to either pursue in the University of Washington or the University of Oregon because of their um, scholarship, of Oregon scholarship because of their cross-country team. But they also have a lot of opportunities. I actually researched that. I forget, like... Probably two weeks ago, I was looking into that yeah. on the Oregon website, like yeah. what kind of stuff yeah. I'd be in if I was at Oregon. Yeah. Also, the UH also has a lot of good opportunities. That right. is a stepping stone sure. for me to go up. So. Right. Great. Well, you'll see, you have several more weeks here, mm -hmm. and then you're going to take a trip this summer with your family, mm. right? Where are you going? Uh, Lopez Island, Washington. Okay. Washington State. Yeah. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's very 2,000 people, so very sparse. Right. Okay. Well, we just have one minute left, Parker. And would you like to say anything to our camera and to our audience about internships and um, maybe yeah. well, courage? People? I think if you have, if you're interested in something, you should always intern for it because it's a great experience. Even if you're like thinking about it, I think you should just go for it because. Even colleges look also at your resume for doing these kind of stuff. So even if you're thinking about it like, oh, no, nah, like it's a waste of time. <laughs> and most of my generation rather like sit on the couch and do stuff. I think that you should take the opportunity because at the end of the day, you like only live once and you should take these opportunities before you eventually it's over. So <laughs> okay, that's well, my message. <laughs> thank you so much, Parker. We're so happy to have you back this summer. Thank you. And I uh, look forward to having a wonderful experience together. So this has been uh, Think Tech Hawaii Education Matters with my guest, Parker Wagner, who's a incoming uh, rising freshman at Mid-Pacific and an intern at ThinkTech Hawaii. And again, if you're interested in interning at ThinkTech, we run a free program. We invite private and public schools, high school and college level uh, to contact us and we would enjoy meeting you and then talking about an internship experience. So on behalf of ThinkTech and our staff, thank you so much and aloha.